I'm hearing a lot of talk around 2-1 buy-downs, permanent interest rate buy-downs. It's time for me to update my numbers on this program. We saw a lot of these types of programs and conversations happening in the middle of 2018 and also in 2014. And what I wanna to do today, we're in the middle of 2022 and interest rates have now crested well over five, five and a half percent. So how do we go out as builders, as sellers, as real estate agents and make our listings, make our properties more attractive without dropping the purchase price? See, that's the thing. Traditional real estate, when the going gets tough, ah, we just drop the price. Well, when the markets change, it may not make sense to just drop the purchase price. I have a better option for you. There's a two one buy down option. There's also a permanent interest rate buy down option. And I wanna go over both of those and then I wanna compare and contrast with you what that looks like, what you'd have to do to the purchase price in order to achieve the same financial benefits of these buy down options. You might be surprised if you're a builder, real estate agent or a seller, so listen up. Also, this is one of the only programs that I've seen in real estate and mortgage where it provides a win-win for the seller and a win-win for the buyer. So let's jump in. What is a 2-1 buy-down? A 2-1 buy-down is where you take a note rate. So let's just take 5.5% where 30-year fixed rates are at approximately here in May of 2022. 5.5 30-year fixed. The first year, you reduce the low, excuse me, the interest rate to 3.5% for year one. Year two, the interest rate is reduced from 5.5 to 4.5 for year two. And then year three to year 30, you pay the 5.5% note rate. Now, there are some benefits to that. It will provide some upfront savings. So if I use the scenario, a $900,000 purchase with $100,000 down, okay, you're gonna see that there's about a $24,000 savings over the first two years in interest compared to uh, a 5.530 year fixed. Now compared to a permanent interest rate buy down, a permanent interest rate buy down is basically considered discount points. You're taking discount points and applying it to buy down the interest rate. Let's go back to that 2-1 buy down. There's approximately a three point cost for a 2-1 buy down, a three point, that's three percentage points. So on a $900,000 purchase price, you're looking at 900,000 times three, which is about $27,000 in points that the seller would pay or the builder would pay to apply the 2-1 buy down or the permanent interest rate buy down. So the 2-1 buy down, three points to deploy that strategy. The permanent interest rate buy down, if you took those same three points, you could buy down the interest rate from 5.5% to 4.875%. A savings over two years of about $14,000. So not as much, the 24,000 that you saw with the 2-1 buy down, but if you pan out five years, it's a break even. The savings with the 2-1 buy down over five years is 24,312. The savings with a permanent interest rate buy down over five years, 24,198, so about the same. Get this, this is where the rubber meets the road, the win-win between the seller and the buyer, or for the seller and the buyer. In order to achieve the same monthly payment by dropping the sales price, you'd have to drop the sales price from $900,000 all the way down to $843,000. That's over $55,000 in price reductions to get that same monthly payment as a permanent interest rate buy down for a buyer. So real estate agents, builders, instead of dropping the purchase price when the market transitions or may start to transition, let's talk about a 2-1 buy down. Let's talk about a permanent interest rate buy down. It preserves the price by about $25,000 on this $900,000 example, but it gives a net benefit to the buyer and to the seller. You maintain property values in the community and you also get a savings to the borrower. If you have any questions on this, I'd love to be a resource. My name is Dan Keller. I've been in the mortgage industry for over 15 years. I've seen three markets like the one we're heading into right now and uh, strategy matters more than ever. Don't just drop the purchase price.